गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम टू अर चैनल सो मई नेम इज माइंड दैट टो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर माई हेच सी एल इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंस सरप्राइजिंगली दिस इंटरव्यू वॉज कंडक्टेड ऑन ए संडे एंड बिलीव मी देर इज ए ह्यूज रिक्वायरमेंट गोइंग ऑन इन हेच सी एल इफ यू आर लुकिंग फॉर ए चेंज यू कैन डायरेक्टली विजिट द हेच सी एल करियर्स पोर्टल एंड यू कैन अप्लाई फॉर द जॉब्स दे सो इन दिस इंटरव्यू बेसिकली दिस लाइट आई एम ट्राइंग टू एक्सप्लेन लाइक वॉट ऑल क्वेश्चन वेर आस्ट मी लाइक बेसिकली दिस इंटरव्यू वॉज फॉर ए फुल स्टैक डेवलपर सो द टेक्नोलॉजी दट वेर आस्ट टू मी वॉज लाइक जावा स्प्रिंग स्प्रिंग बोर्ड एंगलर एंड इन दिस इन इन द अपकमिंग स्लाइड्स आई विल बी एक्सप्लेनिंग लाइक द फीडबैक ऑफ दिस इंटरव्यू लाइक वॉट वॉट वेट द पॉजिटिव वॉट वेट द कंस्ट्रेंट्स और द नेगेटिव पॉइंट्स इन द इंटरव्यू एंड द सॉल सैलरी ऑफर सो बेसिकली फर्स्टली like uh, like any other interview like there were some generic questions like uh, tell me about yourself tell me about your technical stack with the technologies that you are using in your current project explain your project architecture so the only important question i would say here is like explaining our project architecture see if you are not knowing our project architecture properly so that won't give a positive impact at the uh, very beginning of the interview itself like interviewers will lose our interest in uh, in the candidate like if they are they, if, if believe me if i am Uh, a guy with more than five years of experience. If I am not able to explain a project architecture properly, so nobody will show interest to find it, uh, to proceed more on that one. So basically, now <coughs> uh, uh, there were uh, uh, what would say there was a written exam also. Like I think there was a written exam for the people who are who were having experience less than five years. Uh, for me, it was directly technical interview. So without wasting was much of our time. Uh, let's go and. see like what all technical questions that were asked to me uh, before that i would request you all to please do subscribe our channel uh, like provide your feedback in the comment section whether it helped or not so the first question was uh, i was asked to write a code for this so basically uh, the program uh, interviewer asked me to write a program to reverse a string without using any string inbuilt functions so i have also uh, provided a sample code here you know, you can halt a video for a second and you can go through the code i would uh, know like many of you might already know this like if you are uh, well versed with the java thing uh, you would be knowing this so the next question here was like uh, again a written exam uh, written question like uh, he was asking me to return the code write a code to uh, write a java program to find whether a string or a number is palindrome or not so even this was not that tough uh, basically he was looking at my coding skills like uh, uh how fast i can code or in in what way i was coding so why it i have chosen that way that type of coding like the, those methods and the those structure because as a, a a program can be written in many ways why he was like why you have chosen this way or that way he was asking me what benefit it was adding me and all such type of questions were asked to me so next was again a written question so write a java program to find the second highest number in an array so we have to traverse all the array like uh, in the <coughs> then we need to find the first highest then we need to find the second highest number out of it so if you are not aware of it please have coding practice on this because this you cannot refer to google also if you don't have a right uh, code writing experience you will not able to answer this type of questions so the next question here was like explain the oops concepts so basically there are uh four things that uh, majorly takes part in the oops concept oops oops concepts those are en- encapsulation polymorphism inheritance abstraction so i have also tried to give a short description about each thing like encapsulation is nothing but binding up of data and methods together polymorphism is same code or operations of or objects behave differently in different contexts so based on the object it is acting the method will behave differently so the same method will behave differently so inheritance child class getting properties of the parent class abstraction is hiding of the hiding the core logic so the next question here is like explain the final keyword in java so the final keyword in java used to restrict a java usage of variable class and method it can be used at three places like it, it will go with variable it will go with a method it will go with a class so whenever it is going with a variable like final variable final uh, uh, it is a constant like if you want to declare a variable as a constant then we, we need to have it there is a final so once it is it is assigned it is assigned it cannot be changed the next thing is if we are going if we are using final keyword as a method that cannot be overridden in the child classes so if you are uh, the next uh, usage is if you are going to use final with a class it cannot be subclassed so the next question here was like explain the difference between string builder 
uh, sorry string buffer and string so string as many of you knows this is one of the important class so string is an immutable class that is we cannot modify its con content once created while string buffer is a mutable class means you can change its content later whenever we alter a context of string object it creates a new string and refer to that it does not modify the existing one this is the key point here so if you are not aware of it please google it refer it why it is immutable class and what will happen when we are creating a new string every time so the next question here is like uh, implement runnable or extendable thread what would i use when i am using threads concepts so basically in the first approach our class always extends thread class there is so uh, as everybody must be knowing this uh, in java we can extend only one class so once we have extended a thread class we are losing uh, that uh, that means that we cannot uh, extend the any other class but if we are implementing the uh, uh, an interface still we have a chance to implement another interface still we have a chance to extend another class i would always use to i would always go with a runnable interface when while creating a thread class uh, and it is up to you like you can have your own answer here so the next question here is like what is an exception how java exceptions are handled in java so exception is an abnormal condition which occurs during the execution of a program and disrupts the normal flow of the program the exception must be handled properly uh, if it is not handled programmers will be programs will be terminated uh, terminated so exceptions in our java are handled using try catch and finally blocks try block catch block and finally block these are the three major blocks uh, uh are the three major blocks while we are uh, like whenever we uh, deal with exceptions uh, we came across we will come across this blocks like basically try block the code or set of statements which are monitored for exceptions kept in this block like catch block is the block that gets uh, that catches the exception and whatever we want to perform any uh, operations inside even uh, inside that block we need to perform even if the exceptions are raised so finally block uh, it gets executed even if the exception gets raised or not basically like closing up of connections and all the uh, all such stuff is done here so the next question is like what is the difference between error and exception in java so errors are mainly caused by environment in which an application is running for example out of memory happens when jvm runs out of memory where an exceptions are mainly caused by application itself for example null pointer occurs when an application try to access null pointer or file not found exception occurs like whenever there is a file is not specified in a particular location and like that way so <coughs> basically we don't handle exceptions uh, errors sorry uh, but we have to handle exceptions like uh, then there was a question on like explain the exception handling with method overriding in java so this is one of the uh, tricky question i would say i was encountered in my recent interviews uh, because uh, there is a bit a trick in these questions Hello. so basically if you go with the answer uh, if you see the answer see if the superclass method does not declare an exception if a superclass method does not declare an exception subclass over, uh, overridden method cannot declare checked exception but it can declare unchecked exception one point this is the one key point and if the superclass method declares an exception subclass method can declare same exception sub exception or no exception but cannot declare its parent exception this is one of the key uh, like point behind this answer so please go through it uh, the next question is like what is string try with resources statement so this is uh, if i'm not wrong this came up in java 8 so uh, java 7 or java 8 so this feature so try with resources statement is a try statement that declares one or more resources the resources in an object that must be closed after finishing the program the try with resources statement ensure that each resource is closed at the end of the statement execution i have also given the answer here like you can see <coughs> without closing it automatically uh, the resources get closed the key point here is like the resource should implement the auto closable interface this is the answer that would uh, every interviewer would expect uh, explain through throws keywords this was a, a generic uh, very simple question i would say like everybody who has worked in java would be knowing by this now so i'm not going in detail with this question so the next question here is like demonstrate multi catch block so he was asking me to write the code like how multi catch block would look and in what scenarios a, a an unreachable code would uh, 
block would occur here like see if, I, if uh, in the cache block file not found exception or like there is a symbol or eof exception and at the same time if i am giving slash exception then uh, code not reach uh, compile time issue will come up because uh, you cannot have the parent and child the same level here so the next question here is like differences between class not found exception and no class definition found error so first difference is is one is exception and other is error i would know uh, like i would uh, expect that many of you would already know this answer so i am just going through the <coughs> uh, small description that i have chosen to give you like class not found exception and class uh, cla no class definition found error occurs when a particular class is not found at runtime however they occur in different scenarios class not found exception in is an exception that occurs when you try to load a class at runtime using class dot for name or load class methods and mentioned classes are not found in the class path no class definition found is an error that occurs when a particular class is present at compile time but it is not present at the runtime so the next co section here the next section i would say section or the questions that were asked to me like are from spring and spring boot so basically oh, sorry i forgot to mention this uh, these are my round one questions so round two questions i'll be sharing very soon so first question was like what are the advantages spring boot provides it is very easy so there are n number of uh, advantages that spring boot provides so i would request you to go through uh, like all the things or you can just go through few things uh, i have also tried to give uh, give few advantages here like it is a very easy to de develop spring boot applications with java or groovy it is it reduces lots of development time and increase productivity it avoids a lot of boiler code so it is very easy to integrate Spring Boot applications, Spring ecosystem like Spring JDBC, Spring ORM, Spring Data, Security, etc. It follows optionated defaults configuration approach to reduce developer efforts. This is one of the key point. Remember, guys, uh, it provides embedded HTTP servers like Tomcat JT. So the next question is uh, <coughs> was like, like from Angular. Uh, so he asked me like what are the angular uh, what are the angular components life cycle so there are if i'm not wrong eight uh, uh, life cycle methods like in java we say it life cycle methods here we call life cycle compo components here so firstly first one was like ng on changes ng on in it ng do check ng after content in it ng after content checked ng after view in it ng after view checked ng on destroy <coughs> so uh so basically here in angular section the, uh, like he was just asking me very basic questions in angular and spring uh, because mostly the in my first round i was con the interviewer concentrated on my java skills only so the next question <coughs> like was basically on uh, what is the latest version of angular in market and such kind of stuff was the question i have not which i have not included in this video because yeah, every day uh, angular is coming up with the different versions and different uh, features so it, it would change in future the answer would change keep on changing so i went uh, included that thing so this was my round one interview questions as this video was becoming very lengthy when i was trying to include the round two so i have uh, thought of making it another video so basically the feedback i would say is like hr team nicely managed Be just seriously even though the uh, interview was on sunday they, they have excellently managed the interview panel was huge like big number of interview panel was there so the constant is uh, i don't feel any constant for the round one to be frank as soon as i finished just within five to ten minutes i was called for second round also like uh, only constant i would say like food there was no food available even though like the cafeteria was closed and as it was sunday I, I, we couldn't find any food outside also so the salary offered basically this was after my round two so round two and hr discussion it, uh, manager and hr discussion i was given like 45% uh, of five with my current package so that's it for this video like round one videos so thank you for watching and i would request you to please do subscribe if this video helped you uh, subscribe and please share this video to other technical forums uh, where people can get benefit out of it so uh, now 
I would like to promote my video so basically this <coughs> video is going to help those people who are looking out for Java interview questions for HCL or people who are looking out for Java interview questions uh, for uh, 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 like so thank you